Good afternoon and welcome to a home vlog. Home vlog. <laughs> Today. Today. So, uh, Jack, are you doing Jackson? I was doing Jackson. I was doing Jackson. <laughs> Jackson's asleep right now. He's napping. He's probably going to get up here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, today we're just hanging out at home. Doing a, doing a home vlog. Yeah. And it's nice. It's been a while. I feel like it hasn't been a while for them. Oh. Yeah. Right? When did we have our last home vlog? I don't know. We, it was when, you, when we had Toddler Water Park Day. Oh, yeah. That was a yeah. good time. It, it was a really good time. It's about to rain outside, so I don't think we can do anything like that today. Yeah. The weather's looking uh, pretty gloomy. It doesn't look... We look it looks so bright behind us, but yeah. it's pretty gloomy out. It's pretty gloomy out there. Yeah. So we're going to have some fun around the house. Once Jackson wakes up, we're going to do some playtime. Well, we originally wanted to go to the farmer's market because today is Sunday and um, we weren't able to go to the farmer's market. We missed it. So uh, I, I want to do that soon. Yeah. Because that was actually such a fun time. And there were so many different like booths and things to see at the farmer's market. Right. So next time. Yeah. The last time we went, we got, we got caterpillars. Yes. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? What? Uh, was it Ace Ventura or was it Dumb and Dumber where he's like, I've got worms. That's the name of my business. <laughs> I've got worms. What, what, why do they have worms? I think he like sold bait or something. He oh, sold worms. Okay. <laughs> and the name of his business was I've got worms. Oh, no. And that's what he like led the sentence with that when he was talking to some lady. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> so we've got caterpillars. We've got caterpillars. We well, don't have many more. They turned into butterflies. Right. I'll link that video down below where we um, had the butterflies. We released them. They are living their butterfly life. Actually, yeah, butterfly. Really? Yeah, they're probably dead now. Butterflies don't live very long. I wasn't gonna say just like uh, they're dead. Well, You'd think... be like they're probably not around any longer. That's the, the circle of life. It's true. Butterflies don't live that long. How long? We, 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 we learned this the last time that we did a butterfly video. It was like a week. I'll, leave, I'll link it down below so you can learn all the things about the butterflies. But the thing that was cool about the butterflies that we got was that the guy who was selling them said, if you bring this canister back that we bought the butterflies in, he would like do half off the next butterfly thing. Yeah, he would, he would reload it for us. Yeah. With so, caterpillars. I want to do it again because Jackson really did like seeing them like be released. Yeah. So we'll, we he should do it again. He loves butterflies. He does. Yeah. He's a big fan. Big fan of butterflies. <laughs> Butterfly fan. But, but yeah, so we're just hanging out at home today um, that we need to do some like not fun stuff. Like we need to do some cleaning and some uh, just like overall organizational type stuff. Mm -hmm. We have a fun family trip coming up. So we need to get ready for that. It's not for a little bit, but we need to slowly get ready for it. So we're not like the day before freaking out. Right. You know, which is what normally happens with our trips. Right. So I'll be honest with you. What? The entire time that you were telling everybody about that, because we were talking about butterflies, all that I could think of was, come my lady, come, come my lady, <laughs> you're my butterfly, sugar, baby. My jam. And, and the dance. Yeah. What movie was that? Oh, Orange County, I think. Where they like had a, a synchronized dance to the song? Yeah, I think it was Orange County. I could be wrong, but I, I think that's what it was. And it was the girl from Dawson's Creek that was like, Oh, I love this song. I love this song. <laughs> um, so here's what? here's some insight to Tim, right? What? My mind works in very strange ways. You said Dawson's Creek and I thought of James Vanderbeek. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he plays Boris. Mm -hmm. on Vampirina. Boris Hauntley. Boris Hauntley. He's Vampirina's dad. Which Jackson and I have watched every episode of Vampirina <laughs> now. Well, no, there's a season four that we haven't seen yet. I got to check on Disney now to see if it's there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we, on Disney Plus, they have, like, for the most part, all the seasons. But then on Disney Now, they have the current season, the one that's, like, playing right now on the Disney Channel. Right. So somebody asked us in a live show, they said, is Disney Plus worth it, like worth the price? And I have to say, and I said this in the live show, but if you missed it, I would say yes. Yeah. We love Disney Plus. We love watching all of the Disney Junior shows. Jackson loves them. We love them. I feel like it was worth it alone just for... Oh, for like Loki and Loki, Falcon, Falcon and Winter, yeah. Winter Soldier and WandaVision. For sure. Oh, 100%. Agree. Yeah. And I'm glad that we bought Black Widow too. Like we are yeah. becoming... I didn't say we we didn't buy it. We bought Premier Access to it. Yes, yeah. We are becoming huge Marvel fans. 
It's so funny, like, how I didn't think I was going to like Black Widow. And I talked about this in the live show, too. But I didn't think I was going to like it. I don't. I didn't really care about her character because I didn't really know a lot about her character. And now I feel like I want to know everything. Right. It was such a good movie. And I think that it was a good movie even if it wasn't a Marvel movie. Right. Like, if it was just, like, a movie that wasn't attached to, like, the Black Widow character from the Avengers. Okay. I think I would have just liked it just the same. Do you think? I don't think. See, here's the thing that's unique about Marvel movies is that they don't have to give as much of a backstory because the characters are already known. I just really liked the movie, though. I thought it was really good. Yeah, it was good. I really enjoyed it. This has been your Marvel Minute with Tim and Jen. (laughs) So, you know Miss Minutes? Yeah. I thought we have this little oven over there. Yeah. That Jackson plays with, and it has like a face on it, like Miss Minutes has. Oh, okay. And I was wondering, what would the oven's name be? In the in the timeline, you know like, yeah, you know how like Miss Minutes is like alliteration MM. Oh, so like Olivia Oven. Olivia Oven. Yeah. Okay. Ollie Oven. Ollie Oven. Yeah, I like that Ollie Oven. So another question that I had is, well, like we said, we're getting ready to go on this trip. Something that I'd like to put together, or maybe you guys have a suggestion for, is like a car toolkit, not specifically for the car, but one that just stays in the car with like various things that you might need. Like a screwdriver and, I don't know, like a hammer maybe, a razor knife, things like that. Is there something that you all can suggest to me that's like a pre-made kit? Or is this something that I have to put together myself? Like maybe maybe like a Leatherman or a Gerber? That seems like I would need more than that. Maybe like a couple wrenches too? I don't know. Let me know some comments, like some suggestions in the comment section down below of what you have in your car if you have a toolkit like this. Uh, Because, you know, like if you go on vacation and you see something little that's like easy to fix, you would do that? Is that just me? (laughs) I think it might just be me. So we mentioned this stroller in our latest staycation video. I'll put a link to that video in the description down below so you can see it. We stayed at Endless Summer and it was fantastic. But this is the Uppa Baby Minu. And I absolutely love this thing because it's so small and compact when it's folded up. Like this is the whole thing right here. I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like when it's fully expanded because I have something that I want to try. So, here it is, fully open, right? And so, I love how easy this thing moves and how small it is, but one thing that we found out is it's small enough that if Jackson's not in it and we have the diaper bag back here, it just like tilts back. So one thing that I had the idea of is like, if there was a way to put like something out on the front of it here, so that it would counterbalance it. And we have a cooler, and I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to kind of like attach the cooler up front here because having the cooler on the front would counterbalance the diaper bag on the back. Let's see if I can figure something out. So the cooler we have is this Ozark Trail little insulated bag cooler from Walmart. And it has these kind of like loopies on the front that I think I might be able to hook a bungee cord up to, like through here and then wrap the bungee cord around the legs of the stroller somehow. The idea here is to just kind of get this to sit in the front like this. I should just be able to kind of wrap the bungee cord around the the legs here. And of course I will have to take this off and on anytime that I go anywhere, like anytime I try to fold up the stroller. Yeah, kind of like that. Just so long as it doesn't get in Jackson's way, which we'll have to test out. But I think that that's pretty much the idea that I have right there. So actually now that I'm looking at it, I folded it up with the cooler on it and it might be easier to put it on there while the stroller is folded up because it's kind of like accessible right here. So I think this might be our solution for counterbalancing this stroller. Huh. Brilliant. A little bit of thunder happening. We're headed up. About to get Jackson out of his nap. (laughs) <laughs> you tricking me? You weren't really sleeping. You were wide awake. A little silly buddy. Right? Yeah, look at you. Whoa, you threw it! Did you have a really good nap? You had a really, really good nap. What do you think? Whoa! 
Did yeah. you find it? You ready to go downstairs? So now that Jackson's awake, I wanted to show you all something. So when we first moved into this house, we got a dent in the freezer here somewhere, like in the door. Jackson, what's this? What's this? A dent? Yeah, that's right. Here's something else. Get some ice out of the, out of the freezer here. What's that, Jackson? Oh, did you hear that thunder? That's thunder, buddy. What's this? What is it? Is that ice? What's this? Ice. Ice. Oh. Good job, buddy. All right, here's the last one. Jackson, <laughs> you playing with your pizza? Do you want some of this? What is this? What is it? Cheese. Cheese. So close. He's like, cheese. Yeah, he's trying real hard to get cheese. But like we understand what he's saying. All right, Jackson, are you dancing because you got some cheese? Yeah, <laughs> look at you. It's windy. Mommy and Buddy came out to see the rain. Mm -hmm. Jackson likes looking at the rain. He's like, what's this? Rain. Can you say rain? He's trying to say it. He's going, rain. Rain. I don't know if you can do the R sound yet. R R rain. 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 I love you. You love this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's really, you guys can hear it, how much it's raining out here. It's pouring. Yeah, and it's been pouring for like a good hour now. Where's the rain? Yeah, that's the rain. Good job. Still, still pouring out there. It's kind of hard to see how much it's pouring through the back because it's kind of being broken up by the screen enclosure. But it's definitely pouring out there. So earlier in the video, we were talking about Miss Minutes and how Jackson has an oven. This is the oven right here. What would you name that oven? Oh my goodness, it just ripped its face off. Okay. All right, <laughs> all right, it's late. It's like almost eight o'clock. Jackson just went to bed. He has been, I think, dealing with a little sleep regression or something, I'm not totally sure, but he's been either, it's kind of a little bit of both. He's either been having like the best nap ever or the best sleep ever or like the worst. So it's been harder to get him to sleep. When he does go to sleep, he sleeps really well, but it's just been harder to get him to sleep. So. Yay. So so that means that dinner is starting a little bit later than it normally would, but right now I am making some gochujang turkey ragu. Um, this looks delicious. It's got udon, there's some kale, it's gonna be a little bit spicy, some soy sauce, a little cilantro, sesame seeds, it looks delicious. So that's what I'm making right now. I'm just cutting up my veggies and like prepping all the veggies and then we'll get started getting it all cooked up and ready to eat. I'm starving. So this dish calls for a lot of scallions. I've cut up half the bunch there. I'm gonna cut up this bunch now and then I need to cut up my kale. I'm gonna get rid of half of the kale because honestly some of it's not looking so great. And then I'll check back in with you guys. Hello, I'm back. Jackson Hi. is asleep. I was just telling them how he's been having a hard time with sleeping and stuff, so it's been rough. Um, and I showed them a little bit of dinner, but it was hard to show you guys everything because this camera isn't set up for like a tripod right now. Oh, yeah. um, so I, I couldn't, I just kind of told you, but I want to show you. I'm cooking the turkey now. So there's okay. the turkey. And then I've got my kale cleaned and uh, coarsely chopped. And okay. now I'm gonna add my aromatics to my turkey. Oh, what does so that mean? That means I'm gonna add my scallions, my garlic, the um, gochujang, I'm probably saying that wrong and I apologize, but the flavoring and some tomato paste. Man, it's starting to smell real nice in here. Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty delicious. Very excited for tonight's dinner. So this has been cooking for a minute. I'm gonna add in my tamari. So exciting. I'm gonna add in a cup and a half of water. and a tablespoon of sugar. Perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna let this simmer. So while this is simmering, I am going to add in my chopped kale. I it seems this like is... it's gonna be hard. Well, the kale wilts. Okay. So it'll, it'll get, um, it'll, you know, like spinach kind of. So when you said the kale wilts, mm -hmm. I thought, That'd be a good name for a song. The Kale Wilts? Yeah. Who sings that song? Um, I feel like it would be a 
like a, a chef who takes like a little a little side hustle in music. Okay. Can you? I was thinking like, Ed Sheeran. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you know what's really funny is I feel like I've never really listened to Ed Sheeran, so I don't really know much about his music at all. Oh. Um, I feel like it would be Chef Ramsay. It, he would have like a, a country album. Would it be Gordon and the Ramseys? So I also had a name for a band look, that look I thought. Oh yeah. Hardy Wilton. It's looking good. I have a band name and or a song name that I'm going to give away for free right now that I think is really good. Okay, what? It's called South by Sunset. Ooh, I bet that's already one. I don't think that sounds like it's already a song name. Yeah? Yeah. Like a country song, right? We gotta make it South by Sunset. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. I thought of that last night. All right, I like it. it. Looks fantastic. I'm also cooking up my noodles and because these are like fresh, noodles they are gonna cook really fast and they look so good yeah you think they're done they look done i feel like they're done okay oh it's, they only cook for two or three minutes yeah has it been two or three minutes oh i didn't set a timer i didn't either because the oven's broken and i don't know how to do the timer on the microwave you push this button which one wait no see you don't even know how to do it i don't know how to do it oh no oh you're doing that fancy spice dropping i'm like the sesame bay oh yeah <laughs> So there's some toasted sesame. I added my, my udon to the sauce. I think the sauce is a little bit watery. I probably should have let it cook down just a little bit more, but I'm so hungry. Right, me too. And then I'm gonna add some torn cilantro. This looks nice because it looks like a new version of just like spaghetti bolognese. So it's like a fusion dish. Okay. Yeah, so it should be, um, Pretty delicious, I think. It looks delicious. Let's get your first reaction. Let's taste the fruits of our labor. Your labor. I didn't do anything. You helped. Why? All I did was stand there and film you. You were like my sous chef. Hmm. Oh, this is really hot. <laughs> okay. Have you tasted it yet? Yeah. Mm, I think. Good. It is a little watery, mm. but it's good. Oh yeah. It's nice, right? So here's the thing. It's a little bit spicy. Like a teeny tiny bit. Yeah, not bad. Um, I think what I really like, and this is something that's gonna be probably like a hit or a miss with people, is I love fresh cilantro in dishes. Yeah. It just tastes so fresh. Like it gives it this like just pop of flavor. Okay. And I know not everybody likes cilantro because I know there are people that have that like gene or taste bud or whatever that makes it taste like soap. But for me, I love cilantro. Okay. Yeah, it's. I think it like can make a dish. All right. So, there you go. That's my. <laughs> that's my. That's your review, review of dinner. I like cilantro. I do. That's. I mean, the rest of the dish is really good too. I love the udon noodles. I like how like they're like thick, but they're also soft, but not yeah. too soft. Yeah. You know. So. I like udon noodles. It's like one of the only noodles that I like. Yeah, they're delicious. It's kind of like a long rice. Yeah. You know, but like softer. Okay. I don't know how to explain it. They're just really good. So we sat down after dinner mm -hmm. to watch a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. And then we found a video that was TikToks that keep me up too late. I'm sure you've seen these videos that are like TikToks your grandma likes. Yeah. Or TikToks that, that I... TikToks your grandma likes was the like best one that I've seen. The best compilation we saw. Was it? Tonight, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes... We got sucked into them. Well, here's my thing. I don't understand some of the humor. And I know that's like a thing that people are like, oh, Gen Z versus millennials and yada yada. But yeah. like, I really, I really don't understand some of the humor. Like it's weird. Right. And not funny. Some of it. Some of it's really funny. Some of it's, it's not funny to us. No, I mean, it's not funny. <laughs> no, but it is funny. It's funny to the, what's, what is it? Gen Z? Is that the new, the newest generation? Yeah. It's funny to them. Yeah, but it's, it's... It's like it's like they walk outside and they just look up at the sky and there's a giant word, Jared, floating in the sky. And that's what they think is funny. <laughs> Why? Well, you, you laughed. That was pretty funny. <laughs> no, but like... <laughs> I don't... Okay. I guess I don't get it. What's like, if you're a Gen Z person, which how old would you... Like, what's, what's the age range for that? Born between 1997 and 2015. What comes after 2015? Uh, Generation Alpha. Oh, really? I think so. I guess we wouldn't know because they're like four. Yeah, they're I think, like five. I yeah. think it's I think it's Generation Alpha. Okay, I don't understand the names. Yeah, I'm confused by the names. How did we just end up on Gen X and then we we're like Y Z? 
I and think we're it, like alpha beta. I think it's like because that's the point in time that we were in. It was like the Matrix. Yeah, but like who came up with the name Generation X? The, the people. The people. <laughs> the people. <Neo>. Jared. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> okay, now I, I get the humor now. I get the, I get the Jared humor. Uh, I read a dad joke today. Okay. And it was... <laughs> Sorry, I keep... <laughs> There's this TikTok that we watched and I cannot repeat it. But I keep saying it. Yeah, it's very it's funny. It's so funny. I'm sorry I can't repeat it. Um, but it was really funny. Uh, people are shocked to know that I'm not a very good electrician. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right. So it is very light. So I have to go to bed. It's 11.15. Let me ask you a question really quick because I'm curious. What time do you go to bed? Me? No, them. What, oh, like, yeah. Let me know in the comments. Like, What is your your like general bedtime? Right. General bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great name for like Miss Minutes. General bedtime. <laughs> He's the guy that tells you when to go to sleep. Right. When did general bedtime give, like, what was his what bedtime? Was, what were his orders to you? <laughs> um. <laughs> general bedtime. So here's here's my problem. Here's what I do wrong. What? I stay up until midnight every night. I stay up until two every night. I don't understand why. I don't, here's the thing. We go to bed at midnight and I literally cannot go to bed until 2 a.m. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's science. What? It's science. Because you look at your phone. You look well, at your phone until you fall asleep. I'm trying. I like play games on my phone. Yeah, you have until... to put your phone down. No. And stare into the abyss. And that'll put to. you to sleep. You'll see the word Jared written in the sky. <laughs> and you'll fall asleep. In general bedtime will be like, general it's bedtime time will be like, bed. it's time for bed. <laughs> this is what I do wrong. Is I go to sleep at midnight and I wake up at six every day. Mm -hmm. I need more sleep. Go to bed. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's as simple as that. <laughs> it really is, though. I know. I don't know why, but I feel like I should stay awake. I want to stay awake, but I also want to go to sleep. I need, like, can we pass a law that makes there be more time in the day? Um, we did daylight savings times, right? That's We just made up time, right? I think That's a law that was, like, we fake time. What's one hour going to give you? What do you mean? How many times was it like, oh, we got an extra hour of sleep tonight? What? What? I think we get an extra hour. You fall back and that's when you get more time. Right. And so, everybody loves that day. What What does an hour really give you? Like an extra hour. What do you mean? I mean, but like... That's the difference between six hours and seven hours. I know math. <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> think about that. How long did you sleep last night? Seven hours. Oh, that's pretty good. Did I? How long did you sleep last night? Six hours. Mm, not enough. Okay. You see? I do, I do you see. You do see. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Huh? Maybe you're onto something. I'm the... Now I'm officially general bedtime. <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> oh my god. This is, this is the most chaotic video we've ever filmed. Hi. <laughs> Oh my god, the battery's gonna die too. We have to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> my face hurts so bad. <laughs> okay. Woo! Okay, we gotta go to bed. Okay. We're gonna go cry ourselves to sleep. All right, thank you guys for coming to this. Sorry. What the heck happened? If, if you made it this far. <laughs> Oh, oh my god okay why are we crying <laughs> so we've had a chance to calm down because the battery died in the camera but while i was changing the battery i realized that because we have general bedtime that implies like a lieutenant bedtime <laughs> private bedtime mm. there's a whole whole bedtime army there is so all right we have to go to bed we really we do we are delirious yes and yeah so <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. What I don't even know what we did, honestly. Gosh, today we was cooked, so we cooked udon. Oh yeah, you we cooked, cooked udon. we cooked dinner. We I put a I put a cooler on the front of the stroller. Okay. Made the made the stroller a little bit cooler. We had 
We had we had a chaotic conversation in the beginning of the video and the end of the video. What was the chaotic conversation in the beginning? I don't even remember. I didn't think that it was that chaotic, was it? It was long-winded. Oh, yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's just the way that it is. And so, if you made it through this whole video, thank you so much. Um, yeah. you're, we appreciate you. You win. <laughs> you win the game. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's over. So, thank you for watching. And uh, you, ever, you ever heard that game? The game. Where every, like, if you know about the game, you've already lost the game. No. Okay, well, there you go. You lost the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, but everybody out here has won the game now. Yep. So there it was. There it was. So all in all, that with that being said. Oh, all in all, with that being said, <laughs> we're off. Oh, it was a good day. Yeah. So with that being said, we're off. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Oh.